Hey guys, this is Kimak84 here back again. Pretty much we're going to do a little unboxing and review of the Excess PC. Uh, put this up here, this thing's a little bit heavy. Raystorm 750 RX240 water cooling kit. This is an updated version of the original Rasta. This is now the Raystorm block now. Comes with an Intel and it does have AMD bracket to install it too. Thank you XSPC for that. Usually it's a little bit expensive to get that for the race room for both of them. And it does have, the, it doesn't have which model but it's obvious is the RX240. The, the, the packaging misleading a little bit. It's acrylic. I just found out they made a new one. The v, V4 Black uh, acrylic one. So they're going to discontinue this model. Um, again, I don't know why they're doing this so fast. Um, it's an updated version of the pump of this one. Um, it's the X20750 uh, pump. Very, very basic upgrading kit. Water cooling kit for you. Um, it's not that bad. So let me get this going and really put this unboxing of it. Because literally, I'm going to open it. So I'll be right back. Hold on. Things actually sealed up, but if I could get my trusty knife real quick, or find a knife cutter around here, I can open this. This is actually what comes actually in the stock. I usually take apart all that stuff because. When you're packaging it up, you don't want people to know what you have when you're shipping. So we try to keep it very discreet what we ship out and try to make sure. I mean, we ship it like this usually. Um, we try to package it up very, very good when we ship it out. And we we try to ensure it if um, if it's for apartment, for pickup and all that. There's nothing to worry about. I like the XSPC actually uh, updated a little bit more of the, the packaging, uh, more brief detailed of this item. You know, you actually could get this manual book on the website, but it tells you what it comes with and what what package do you get and everything. And very colorful detailed how to prepare a uh, water cooling setup and pretty much. I mean, this is the best startup kit overall for anybody i would recommend getting this uh just because of the radiator and all that because you have the rx 240 uh it's a good start kit pump is pretty good but i would recommend later on if you're trying to do uh I'm trying to do uh, like two two graphic cards with cpu or ram with the norbridge uh south bridge you then you have to upgrade your pump and all that then then you get to little hiccups and all of that. But this is a good starter because the block itself, you know, the block that you have is pretty good starter. I mean, this is a good kit. I, don't get me wrong, but for, I have this pretty much kit, but in different set uh, pieces and all that. Pretty much everything's uh, bare. Everything just there's no label, nothing. So let's just show you. You got two. Uh, 120 fan grills with this. You get actually sleeved uh, XSPC uh, fans. I'm trying to see the they're 12 volt and they're 16 feet, uh, 60, 1650. Excuse me. So uh, tells you right there. Obvious. Looks kind of ugly. Why would they put that on there? I mean, that's not my real seeing a number spinning and. I mean, quite obvious, putting on the back of it, like right here, is a lot better than having it on here. So I would recommend moving that or putting something there. That looks horribly ugly. I like the sleeving. It's not bad. 
Um, does come with everything we need in here. Let's open this up. You you get a 24 pin ATX bridge for your power supply. You can actually get stand knobs to mount your uh, your radiator if you want to mount it outside of the case. Uh, it's nice to have this because it's a little bit expensive to get this. You get everything we need. You get for this model because is the rustic uh, is the lower version of the extreme edition. This is more of the basic one. You can actually get six barbs. They're actually, uh, hold on a second. Sorry about that. You actually get them, uh, uh chrome black. You get six of these, um, with the kit normally uh, it's a good kit uh, we do have a uh, our own one that we do make it does come compressed fittings there's a different one with this one but I think it was better to make our own uh, extreme kit I think it was more uh, presentable for our customers and all that so and we've been doing it for a little bit and people have been buying it so this is a good starting kit I would not I would recommend if later on if you guys want to upgrade and you get six gator clamp um for these uh for the barbs these are half barbs the size fitting does fit the tubing just remember is this is seven sixteenths five eighths so you get about three meters so that's about six feet almost six feet i'm not, I'm not really too sure on the on the meters on that but uh does take care of what you need and like I told you, you actually get a bracket, an A and D bracket. This is separately, this is about 13 bucks. We do sell it separately, but uh, it's a good kit for your price. Um, you get the bracket, and um, that's the accessory side. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the actual pump and everything in a minute. But, uh, um, you actually your radiator. 40 radiator and okay you actually get your kit I already did a video of this actually uh, how to install it it's pretty easy how to install but I'm not too sure but uh, I think this is more than $13 and all that separately I'm telling you um, I'm not gonna open this because it's gonna be for a customer here is the Raystorm water block. I have this myself and I love this thing. It's, it's awesome versus the, the Intel, um, the race, uh, Rasta block. Just to let you know, remember to, if you open this up, you open it up, there's a little piece of plastic right here on top of the copper base. Just remember, just remember, I've seen customers install this with that plastic and it got really ugly lucky enough they didn't overheat this computer but anyway um, you have your fittings actually not fittings but the the mechanism to uh, screw down your bolt to uh, your uh, application for uh, 2011 LGA 2011 1366 1155 1156 and LGA 775 and then you get a uh, LED light, uh, three millimeter LED twin, and here's the 2011 screws. You don't need a back plate for this. This is for 1366, 775, and here is um, 1155, 1156, and you get thermal compound. Plus, you get the bracket for AIM three, AIM three plus, AIM two plus, and AIM two. They're all pretty much the same thing anyway. So, uh, 
put that back in there. Um, I'll fix this a little bit later. By itself, it's worth getting this together. Here is actual RX240. There would be normally screws in here, but they're actually right here. You actually get your screws here, I'm telling you here. One thing to hear, warning. Warning, please make sure that you have the correct length screws to mount the radiator into your case or attaching fans that only six only six millimeter screws that could be used to mount the radiator in a case panel use longer screws will potentially the core the radiator core with a warranty if uh, uh, provided 30 30 millimeter screws that only use for the fan di dimension of 25 millimeters so pretty much is that if you go you run to, like you run the screw inside the radiator right here, and you connect it, and you break it. The screws are not bad. I'll tell you the size of it. Hold on a second. Uh, multitask. All right. Pretty much. This is the RX240 radiator. This is the biggest radiator I've ever seen on a 120. And they have not done it on 140. There's no need to because that'll be just ridiculous, ex uh, expensive, and too big. Um, looks really bad. Um, it's very, very thick. 30 millimeters thick. Um, uh, it, it's ridiculous. This is too thick. My case won't even fit in this. You have to do open bench or you have to do some customizing. I, if you guys want to just do one with a 240, uh, just this. 240 um, radiator this size with that block only CPU this is great and you get uh, a 120 RX and you're good to go I mean but but this is the best thing for if you're doing you're starting and one last thing is the size of these screws are 632 by um, with six millimeters by 32 length that's the screw length I went to the local hardware and I think it's one half by it's more than one and one and a half so it's I gotta I'll put a link description of the actual of the size see if I can remember it's really hard but uh we do we'll see we try to get these screws but it does come enough to able just to mount it or you do you have enough set to do push pull so you have your two fans enough to go through the screws and mount it and you flip it upside down do a push pull um, and you use the smaller screws you mount it on the opposite side just enough to get the fans going but I, w I would recommend upgrading these fans to something better um, 1650 rpm fans is not enough to me but anyway um, let me show you the last thing with the pump and we're good to go once again I gotta Put down the phone. Here it is. This is the part and joy of the pump that you need. This is a basic, basic pump. It's pretty good. It's very low. It's about 450 uh, liters per hour. It's not enough to do uh, to do CPU with a with GPU. It doesn't matter. It's just too much. For Intel, it's just too much load on it because they do get hot. It, very hot. If you do uh, AMD like a Phenom 2, Athlon, or some of the FX, it's it's plenty enough to do this for you. Um, to show you, it comes with the L screws for actual mount the front, front plate. It's actually you have actually have a black and silver. You have a a single LED five millimeter blue. Pretty much everything's blue. 
got the screws to mount the um the the to mount this physically on the side for the for the five and a quarter bay. So it takes two of these by the way, just remember. So uh pretty much this is the overall look of the uh, XSPC RX240 water cooling kit. Um, you have any questions, anything about this kit? Um, it is worth it for the value of it, starting kit. But after that, you could keep growing with it and everything. You guys have any questions? Leave a comment and you guys hit the like button. See you guys a little bit later. This is Kill Mike 84.